In this video, we will focus on the welcoming of the new apprentice in the company and why it is important. If done properly, it leads to the effective cooperation as the apprentice is considered to be part of the team. To assure this, you, as the mentor, have to work with the staff prior the apprenticeship begins. And you have to explain the apprentice role and the objectives of the apprenticeship. You have to be sure that everyone understands the apprentice role and have no negative feelings about it. It is also important for you to establish an open relationship with the apprentice as it greatly facilitates further cooperation and it makes the apprentice feel free to address you in case of any problems. Openly discuss the apprenticeships and provide mutual feedback. If the onboarding is not done properly and the mentor underestimates the initial phase of the apprenticeship, it influences the further course of the apprenticeship as the apprentice does not feel safe. He or she perceives the possible distance and not acceptance by you or other people within the team. Make sure before the apprenticeship begins, the apprentice goes through the methodological instruction and rules for the apprentice during the apprenticeship. Make sure that he will also become familiar with the annual report and with the mission of the company and the target audience of the service provided by the company. You should also explain the personal structure of the organization and each staff member's role and work. After that, talk to the apprentice about the schedule of the activities for the apprenticeship, its objectives and added values. If this is relevant for the apprentice role, the apprentice should also receive identification badge and appropriate work clothes. Tell him or her also about other organizational instruction as possibility to use companies, canteen, accommodation, etc. Be aware, first day of the apprenticeship is very important for the apprentice as there are mixed feelings such as nervousness and joy. Be prepared to answer any question apprentice may have. It is important to be on time and be there once the apprentice comes to work and to welcome apprentice in friendly way to reduce the stress feelings. It is also important to give the apprentice a guided visit to the whole organization and its spaces, including the facilities that can be used by the apprentice. For example, shared kitchen, toilets, etc. Do not forget to show the apprentice his or her table or workplace and safe place to store personal things. You should arrange the meeting with other employees, especially with those with whom the apprentice will cooperate during the apprenticeship. Do not forget to make some important administration. The apprentice has to sign the confidentiality code of the company and receive occupational safety and health training. At the end, if the apprentice is interested in some self-development activities, you can recommend him or her relevant literature or other documents relevant to the placement and the area of activity of the company. To sum up, be as open, as friendly as you can. And it could happen, the apprentice is your new employee in the future.